What is up guys and welcome yet to another uh, video and today we're going to be doing a bit of colour grading which is uh, quite cool. Um, I've done some colour grading uh, videos on my channel before but um, yeah we're just going to have a bit of fun with it today and just see what sort of results we can get really. So yes um, I've got some footage here um, in my uh, project window here and I've got a few examples which I want to sort of discuss and discuss to you guys how I color grade my footage, uh, basically, without confusing you too much. Um, so yeah, let's um, have a look at some examples. So this is uh, Assault on Precinct 13, uh, which is a great film, by the way. If you haven't seen it, I strongly uh, recommend uh, you check it out. I'm just gonna switch over to my editing panel here quickly. Um, and you can probably see I've got my scopes on the far um, monitor here. I don't know if that's, uh, that's in view. Um, but we're not worried about that at the moment. Uh, we're not going to watch that. We're just going to be basically focusing uh, what's in front of you uh, at the moment. So as you can see here, uh, we've got a still frame from uh, Sword and Precinct 13, uh, which is pretty cool. It's a film based in a uh, snow environment. If we look at this shot here in Lawrence Fishburne, um, as you can see, they've gone for the sort of blue look to... Uh, basically symbolize uh, a cold environment, uh, which is very very cool And that's basically how I like to uh, lay out my shots when I'm color grading a short film uh, or feature and Individual shots uh, in the film depict what's going on in the scene. So I like to sort of keep my color grading um, sort of around uh, That sort of idea now obviously color grading is based on taste um, It's entirely up to you how you color grade your um, uh, footage uh, a lot of artists out there will colour grade to basically show people who they are. Uh, for instance, Jerry Bockheim is a, a perfect example of every time you see a Jerry Bockheim film, uh, even without looking at the credits, you can instantly see by the grading that it's a, a Jerry Bockheim film, which is uh, very, very cool. Uh, a lot of people like to um, grade a complete scene or a whole feature in one tone, uh, just to keep that tone through the actual... Uh, the, the complete feature um, and obviously when people are doing vlogs on YouTube they just like to sort of punch the colours up and just make it look a lot more vibrant uh, but the way I work in features is I like to colour grade uh, each scene uh, as I see fit about how the film looks about how the scene in general looks so if we've got if we have a look here um, I've got this scene um, of this uh, joggers running uh, as you can see there uh, as you can see, we've got some, um, you know, rain falling. Um, so what's going on here? Obviously, it's a humid day. This guy's jogging with no top on. Um, they're in shorts. This guy's in shorts. So it's obviously a humid day out there. So how would I sort of deal with a scene like this? So we're going to be doing a bit of color grading on this scene, uh, which is a um, black magic cinema camera shot. Um, so it's normally shot in um, a flat profile. Uh, this was shot in uh, video mode, not film, so it's not completely flat, as you can see. But still, we're going to see uh, where we can sort of go um, with this shot here. So, I'm going to bring this into my editing window here. Um, and firstly, I am going to add um, a new adjustment layer. I always grade on top of an adjustment layer. It just gives you a lot more flexibility. And in the long run, that's the way it should be uh, done so I'm just going to simply drag my adjustment layer on top of the footage uh, drag it out uh, to match and firstly I want to get uh, the resolution right so I want to get the cinematic look so if you look here um, at this window this is the start and this will be here the after so we can see what sort of results we're, we're going to get so firstly I'm going to select my adjustment layer and go to sequence sequence settings and I'm just going to change this, what I like to work is 1440 and that, click OK, is going to give me a really, really cool widescreen with a nice black borders aspect ratio. So as you can see from this point here and this point here, we've already made a bit of a difference in the cinematic look, uh, shall I say. So now let's do some colour grading. So I am using the latest version of uh, CC 2017. Um, so if you click on color, you're going to be presented with your color palette. 
and all the tools basically you're going to need to grade your footage uh, which is very very cool so you've got your basic uh, color correction and, and, and grading so you can get the exposure bring the exposure up so on and so on so firstly what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring um, our contrast down I want it to be a little bit more flatter uh, just bring the exposure down a touch bring the highlights down and what I'm going for is uh, almost a sort of flat profile uh, if that makes sense because what I like to do is get as flat as possible and then drop a LUT uh, on top so in this scene obviously like I've just said I mean it's raining uh, if we look at it here it's raining obviously it's humid you get you know humidity with rain uh, it looks like one of those sort of scenes um, where it's going to thunder. So I'm just going to open up my creative uh, side of here, of the of the program, and I do have loads of LUTs that I've bought in the past. Some from True and Films, well, loads from True and Films actually. I will post a link in the description below, guys, where you can uh, purchase that. Some great, great LUTs which give you instant results uh, when you apply LUTs uh, uh, to your or production but a lot is always after you've graded so it's always the final uh, what, what's, what I'm looking for the final look is the luck that you put on top so I've got the color wheels here so I can bring up the midtones uh, if I want I can bring the shadows down uh, like that so on and so on and what I'm doing guys is I'm sort of going for a orangey warm sort of look so if we go down to HSLR secondary which is only available in 2017 unfortunately um, I'm just gonna push that up uh, just a bit towards the orange like so maybe a bit more and you can see the difference uh, so far we've got a lot more um, uh, orange in it uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring uh, this over a bit like so and maybe just bring this like that and just to give it a bit more uh, punchiness now obviously um, so I'm gonna set the orange as well um, you know it's entirely up to you guys how you uh, uh, perceive the look or how you want to grade your footage it's entirely up to you um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go for that look there I want a nice really nice orangey sort of warm look with maybe a little bit of uh, blue uh, shall I say yeah, so let's just sort of bring that up to about there and then that looks pretty okay so now when i go to my creative side and i add a lut um it's going to give me a really lovely sort of cinematic feel but what i need to do guys is i need to go through these luts to see what the best sort of lut uh, is uh for this actual scene to make it look really really cinematic so i'm just going to uh scroll down my bits of mad max that might be a good one so mad max yeah that looks really really cool but it's too much so what I can do is to bring my intensity down a bit on that maybe just push it up and like you've just seen there um, we've got some really nice results maybe push my sharpness up just a little bit and with that sort of you know uh, doing too much as you can see between this and this we've already got um, a really cool sort of cinematic look um, straight away so let's uh, move uh, delete all this and do a different example so I'm just going to drop this bit in here um, keep existing settings uh, no, let's do that again let's delete that and let's just drop that back in guys and, and let's just change it okay so this is uh, the scene here that we've got which is a picture of a bird or a woman sort of sitting in a car it's obviously cold outside so the idea of this scene is to give it a really sort of cold look like you've just seen in this uh, Lance Fishburne uh, scene here. So that's basically what we're aiming for. So I'm going to add a new uh, adjustment layer on top of that. I hope you follow me so far guys and I'm not confusing the hell out of you. Now this is only 1920s by 1080 uh, but I'll show you how to get the sort of cinematic look uh, with that. You can write this stuff down, these numbers down if you want. Uh, bring it over I'm gonna select my adjustment layer come up to sequence and set my sequence and I'm gonna change this 1080 to 817 okay so 817 click OK and then boom we've got a lovely um, widescreen uh, cinematic look and if you compare that bit to that bit it looks 100 times better even without color grading so 
I'm going to go back to about this point here and I'm just going to work on with my adjustment layer selected uh, the different look uh, and the tone of what I'm looking for so I'm going to get my shadow tint and maybe just drop that down to like a blue maybe just bring it just a little bit more now remember I'm putting a LUT over this but it's a question of just uh, finding uh, the correct LUT I'm going to bring my intensity up um, and already you can see we've got a really from this to this we've got a really lovely 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 um, a uh, bit of gradient already but if we look at Lance Fishburne there's a bit of green in there um, so what we can do is we can get our highlights and just bring it over to the green like so now let's uh, open our um, color wheel and let's play around with the colors so we've got the green and now I'm just gonna push the checks on the green and just basically bring the green down maybe push it up towards the blue uh, maybe up a bit maybe down a bit it's all to do with playing uh, with the actual scene and play with the overall look um, of how you want it to look we'll bring the shadows and push that up towards the green not too much I don't want it too harsh but I do want the the sort of uh, blue look let's just bring this down the highlights Bring the highlights up towards the centre until we sort of towards the green until we sort of get the look uh, that we're looking for. So that looks pretty awesome. And already, if we go back to the original shot, um, yeah, you can see between that uh, and that we've already got a really lovely sort of uh, cinematic look. Now, what we can do is go to our curves, and then we can play around with the RGB. So if I get the green. I could bring the green down up, up just a little bit and I could select the blues and I could play with the blues and bring the blues down to about there and then you could play with your whites and just sort of bring that up to about there and basically this is how I like to work um, when I'm doing my color grading so yeah pretty pretty straightforward and pretty pretty cool um, like I've just said it's entirely up to you how you want uh, your production to look uh, when you're color grading. Uh, I'm going to push some vibrance up on that uh, Maybe push the saturation up and you can add a lot here uh, If you want so you can make sure you pick the LUTs that symbolizes what you're doing. So black swan. That's a pretty nice one um, Constantine is way too green. So we're basically gonna think you know what sort of um, look can we justify with this how, uh, how can we make it look so jaws so far looks pretty awesome you can bring the intensity of that like, up or down or just push it uh, it's entirely up to you and that's basically it guys that is how i color grade in uh premiere pro so hopefully this is giving you you know some tips uh, on how to color grade and just get some nice cinematic sort of natural looks uh, to your production um yeah if you have enjoyed this video guys a like rate would definitely be uh, appreciated and as always i'll definitely catch you in the next video ciao ciao